A group of scientists from the U.S. and U.K. teaming up to create what is being called the world's first synthetic human embryos made without eggs or sperm. Some are calling it a scientific breakthrough. Others say it raises serious ethical and legal questions. Dr. Mark Siegel joins us, and you always give it to us straight. Your thoughts on this, Dr. Siegel. Welcome. Hi, Sandra. This is a tough topic. So, as you know, embryonic stem cell research has traditionally been very controversial. Catholic Church is against it. Um, some Protestants back it. But there's a big religious backlash against, against doing research on embryos. And there's an international society for stem cell research that, that has said up to 14 days you can do it. Not everybody agrees with that. And then they're trying to extend that. Obviously, 14 days comes from the time of implantation. They're figuring pre-implantation. Here's what's going on here. They took one single cell, embryonic stem cell, one single cell, and they're manipulating it to see what the placenta would look like, what the yolk sac would look like. They're not creating actual embryos that you could do something with. There's no precursor of a brain or a heart, and they're not planning on using it for anything other than testing why someone miscarries or what are genetic abnormalities and can you predict them. But I have a question. I would have a question for the researcher here, same as I have a question about gain-of-function research. Could you do this with computers? Could you do this with artificial intelligence? Could you predict this without using this actual cell and manipulating it? That's the question they really have to answer from an international science point of view. And then, of course, there's the religious backlash. All right, so these are far from becoming actual humans. Uh, but to your point, there's a lot that we could learn from them along the way, right, Dr. Siegel? And, and that's part of science, what you stumble on. I. You know, and I agree with that. I agree with that. It, it, miscarriage is something that's very mysterious to us. We don't know why a woman miscarries a lot, a lot of the time. Sometimes it's a genetic abnormality, sometimes it isn't. The, these are not actual embryos. This is a single cell, and the cell... And we, this started, by the way, in 2018 with mouse cells, mouse stem cells, and now they're taking a human cell. But again, it is not an actual embryo, and it doesn't have the characteristics of it. They're looking to see what they can do to predict miscarriage and to predict genetic abnormalities earlier on than, say, an amniocentesis, which occurs at 16 weeks. So there could be big advances here made, and that so it needs to be taken very seriously. Anything we can do to advance science, we should do, but we also should take the, the feelings in, into place of people that have religious concerns. Thank you so much for all of that, Dr. Siegel. It's caught a lot of people's attention and making a lot of headlines. Good to get your thoughts on that. Dr. Siegel, thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.